Thank God, thank God this anime performed well on my channel. I was scared because I was like, Wistoria looks so hype. I love the whole premise of a guy that's cast to the side because can't use magic, but has like anti-magic sword. I loved everything about the trailer. It did bad. But the episode one, the audience was there. It's just like, all right, looking like a good season of anime for us. What happened last episode? Dude, our main character uh, can't like um pass in, in in like to get to this like different position in school right because like you need amount of credits and because he sucks he just can't use magic it sucks but he can basically make up for it by hunting different dungeon monsters and that teacher's kind of helping us and that gets us extra credit there's a lot of elites in the school that looks down on us because obviously oh he can't use magic how dare he right but at the end of the day those aren't even a competition we're not even looking at that we're looking at the blue haired beauty at the top of the tower, I think. I forget the exact title of what the Divine Visionary you know, equivalent of is in this anime, but basically, she is cracked. She's the youngest one to ever do that. She's a childhood friend, both orphans. Wonder why she's so special. We haven't got to see her enough. I hope she shows up this episode and does something cool. Let's begin today's reaction. Five years earlier, okay? <laughs> How did he get into school without being able to use magic? But he's like, Elfaria is like, you know, the blue haired girl, the OP one. So it's like two in one packet. That's actually what it was. Dude, everyone sucks here, man. The teacher's nice. Headmaster! Baba! Cauldron Anuv regarding Magical Academy Headmaster. It is a test, right? Headmaster, see what it can do. Exceeded her expectations, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna use somebody just did there. That was her All Might moment. <laughs> the fucking meme. You too can make minimum wage. Can I really find Elfie? Yeah, you can. All right, we're going up now. The headmaster seems nice, right? She doesn't seem like completely ignorant. She's, she understands that like he, even though he can't use magic, he's not trash, right? She genuinely smiled. The fire test there was kind of fucked up, but like she knew he could do it. So let's go. How do you <laughs> Not opening her eyes though. <laughs> a sword that wants to be a wand, but you're just a sword. Be a sword. Wakuna sensei no hoshu, mata sugokata mitaine. Lord, Koretsu. Oh, she do made. Vido a hiki no tan yo zenbu totter no ni. Wakuna sensei mo kira. Ochkobore da karate. Doryokushinai, do you anay yo? Sorry. That's true. He actually does care about the students. Edward is the black hair sensei last episode, right? That guy was like... Well... Was he siding with the red hair guy too during the bullying? He definitely does not like us. Like, but I, I can't completely tell if... Like, like, exactly. Is he gonna be a Snape type where he seems evil, he seems very bad, but actually, he cared about the kids, right? That's what I can't really figure just yet, but we'll, we'll let him cook. I thought these fucking idiots died last episode. These are his friends. Are you seriously gonna take credit? Are you actually gonna take the credit right now? No way. The loser friend survived, man. Well, those two actually were passed out, though, right? Now, Shion, will you acknowledge this? Are you gonna Are you gonna take stolen valor? One of the top three. What did he say? 
Top three of what? He'll probably one of the top three. I'm not completely sure who the top three is, but it's probably like the top three students right now at the school, right? L! L! Admit you lost and you got saved. So. Fuck you. You should be on your knees licking his shoes saying thank you for saving my life. This guy still sucks. I thought we corrected him last episode. Nah. But you know what? Actually, this is better. You know why? You know why? Because again, remember the Ultima game princes? Whenever they were being shitty, that we dunk on them. And then they like become corrected. And they're like apologizing. I don't want them to apologize. No, 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 no. This is good. This is actually great for Sion. Because the faster he apologizes and gets a redemption, we can't farm him. We can't shit on him. We can't dunk on him. But if he's going to do this shit right now, like we're going to have another moment where we just roast his ass in the future. <laughs> what a loser. He mad. He jealous. He insecure. Oh, Kiki. Ah, the shitty teacher's back. Oh, it's the final year. Yeah. Isn't that hilarious? He can't use magic, yet he surpassed it. You're not a f you're, you're, you, you, like, this is him being scared and afraid of the unknown, thinking, we are mages, we should rule over everything. But this unknown thing is suddenly scaring me. It's, it's threatening my position of power. Cool. Has a duty to produce the learned scholars for the fated day. Oh, what is the fated day? Doomsday? Something bad's gonna happen? You're trying to make a bunch of Magia vendors to fight against Doomsday? What's going on? It's he just wants He's gonna make such an unfair test, though. Right? He's gonna figure out a way to make him fail no matter what, but will will pass. Somehow he'll do it. So if the if Dumbledore is pretty much saying Edward, you can decide whether or not he passes or fails. I think that we're gonna have a redemption moment from Edward. He's gonna be the most Sunday teacher. He's gonna be shitting on Will, but then he'll be like, you know what? God damn it! I do acknowledge you now. I think something like that's gonna happen. <laughs> Master's confident. I think Edward will pass. <laughs> Roshidere noodle scenes? Oh my god. Or this. Oh my. Yo. The lips on oh, Baba right over here? Like. Yo. Granny kinda. Headmaster kinda bad. Yo, that lipstick though. Yo, gra at your age, Granny? Like. <sighs> And like, like we, we gotta go back. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I thought that before this lower section, they showed like some mid riff or something for the granny, but I, I'm just too down bad. All right, uh, we were at 8.11, right? Here we go. Do it. She's confident. <laughs> Dark Viper Mage. What does that mean that he understands a Magia vendor better than anyone? Because he is one? Is this... I, like, is he also a Magia vendor? But he's a Dark Viper Mage. Like, he's super strong. He can't open his locker without magic. He 
this is so unfair. He, it, if there was no Colette, he straight up can't use his locker at school. I can't use it. あるのまどれ。おお、ウィスタディング。これは異界からのドアーズメンションドアーズ。旅かすなる労働と国士。え、挙兵したことに端を発する。おお、ドアーズ。ドアーズ。ドアーズ。ドアーズ。ドアーズ
あなたにも伝えておこうと思って We're gonna watch the fight? Let's watch the fight! なウィルそれにエド待ってください今エドワルドが行っているテストそれを止めることを禁じます主張を認めたようにエドワルドの主張も公平に認めるべきだと私 I just realized he doesn't even have a weapon Wait 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 We can't do the anti-magic shit without a weapon, right? We need some sort of blade. Oh, hey, you need to make a bit of that. I see a so hand and she might stop. I think that we have no weapon intentionally so that Edward doesn't get embarrassed. Cause like we could cut this shit so easy. Straight up. If we had a weapon, it'd be way too easy. So like getting a one strike with the hand, like yeah, Edward needs this handicap right now. So okay, wait, 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 wait. He's the closest to actually becoming Magi Vender of the people in the school. So. The Magia vendors live above, right? Elfie is the youngest Magia vendor ever, right? And there's a bunch of other Magia vendors at the top of the tower living there. But down here, he is the next closest being. Wait, what did he say? Oh, Sass, I thought he said dodge for a second. What do we do now? Give me a blade! Goggles? No, 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 that's his glasses. Oh shit, if he can't even see anymore. Cantationless! Bro, he can't even see anymore. Two? Alright, he's just like, only simple attack and simple defense, that's it. But like, bro, this soundtrack playing right now is so good. So his thing is, he intentionally uses low level magic? Because like, wait, wait, you who shall never attain the thousand magics. He's talking to like, you know, Will right now, right? Should strike to master a single one. The idea of rather than learning 10, like a hundred different, like a thousand different moves, just no one moves like and practice that like a thousand times but is z also kind of like that like his entire thing is you know learning just stacking one simple move i mean he did say just now that he's gonna handicap himself by only using the basic skill but like he can fucking stack that shit. Series. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> he, he, he's just fucking composing the music right now. You look at Edward, he's having the time of his life. <laughs> He's just fucking up his own student. He's like, oh, yes. Oh, the music. This is so lit right now. Okay. Yeah, call it. Bring the fucking sword. No, it's not like that. And and not just normal torture, I feel like it's supposed to be some kind of sex dungeon. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 Blood. 
Kiki! Kiki. <gasps> oh, Kiki didn't run away. Kiki went to get the sword, but Kiki got injured. No! Kiki... Get the sword. As soon as he gets the sword, it's gonna be so easy for him. Magia Vendetta, Watashi Gotoki Koera and Ayodewa. Tadori Tskeru Hazumon Nai. Okay, we'll simply overcome you then. The dwarf battle. Orokana Dwarfua. Each one of the Hundan. Don't say one. Oh fuck. How did how did the battle end? Oh no, was it one Magia vendor? Oh! It's power of magic, right? The power of fucking magic. But did you really have to sink that with their fucking foot to my head? Actually, this is suddenly turning into Colette's fantasy. If Colette walks in on this, she's gonna be like, I knew it! Oh my god! I won't give up! Wait, wait, wait. Does that count as a strike? Get one hit on me. I win. No, that doesn't count, right? The promise goggles! Aww. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Dun 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 dun! That's right, he's just here for the girl. Yes. yes. Here's a sword! Nice timing! <laughs> yeah, this bitch. <laughs> He's probably thinking like fuck. Alright, I lost that. Cause like this he knows that he can fucking use the sword shit like that. He intentionally drew Will here without taking his weapon. He just was like, alright, come over here, you with me. But like now we're about to use a sword, like come on man, this is a bullshit battle the entire time. <laughs> Goggles on! I know it's a blade. <laughs> Wait, no, no, this is not Edward back in the day, right? No, 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 this is someone totally different, right? But the lore actually was one mage did not slay 10,000. There was one dwarf that still landed a blow. This is Edward's grandpa. <laughs> I, 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 in my head canon, this is Edward's dad or grandpa. We got a bland of blow, right? But it's like if he actually did, he'd die. <laughs> yeah. And imagine, imagine if Will was allowed to fucking bleed from the beginning, bro. Imagine, like, you, you, this test. This is all bullshit and you know it. You knew he was OP with the sword. You knew exactly what you're doing. If he had the sword from the beginning, it would have been a wrap. You better not make excuses, bro. <laughs> Alright. There it is. Did a lot of work for fucking five credits. 
Now Edwards will acknowledge Will in a tsundere way. The fuck? What's that two birds supposed to represent? Will and... I don't know. Colette or Will and Elfie? I'm not sure, but I expect Edwards to be reluctant to accept Will. But he'll... He's probably not gonna be all happy happy and like, you know, nice to him. But he'll do that tsundere or like maybe like Asian parent style where he just like... Won't talk shit is like, not bad. And like, walk away. Masani, Kiki clutched. Kiki clutched, man. Post credit scene. Korets. He's humming. Whoever this is, they're humming the ending theme right now. This girl is humming the ending theme. Is that a guy or a girl? I don't know. What does the, what does the apron say? I love... I don't know. I love whatever this symbol is. Exclamation mark H. Omurice. We got another person. It's a triangle. I, it's not just Elfie and Will. It's Will and this new person. Huh? This is where Will... It's a little too flat too. It, I... 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 This could be a trap, but I will, will this person cooks for Will? I don't know, but that is today's episode of Wistoria. Oh, dude, Wistoria is actually stupid hype. Episode one was super hype, and I thought that we would take some time to step, like set up stuff and slow time before it pops off later in like episode four or five. But like back to back, bro, this shit's peak, man. What was the point of the episode to understand a little bit more lore about like? You know, like what happened in the past with the dwarves. We saw that this shitty Sion guy still does not acknowledge Will. Is not really claiming the credit, but his lackeys are. And he's like still going to like try to be a hostile to Will. He saved your ass. He probably just can't comprehend. That someone as feeble as weak and non-royal as him is doing better than him. It's, it's just basically just insecurity. Edwards is an interesting case. Because he does, if you've seen Harry Potter, he does seem like a Snape type, right? Initially, he seems very vehemently opposed against the main character, hates them, hates their entire guts, hates their entire existence. This whole ass teacher is having beef with the child. But it comes from this sense of magic superiority. He thinks magic is everything. How dare a sword try to reach a wand? Yet it did. Same as the last time where the dwarf did the same thing in that war, right? That was a nice little lore and representation of what Will is doing right now versus what happened with the dwarf fan in my head canon Edward's dad or grandpa yes there was a handicap for sure there was a handicap from Edwards right he said he's only gonna use basic one you know dark flame magic and these barrier but he's the closest to be a Magi vendor a little bit more glaze on him right because like he is of everyone here not even like the headmaster I wonder how that works like cauldron but he is the closest to being a, a, a Magia vendor. I guess not through creating new magic, because he's not doing that, I don't think, but collecting credits. What was the credit mount? Like 7,200 or something? Koret is seemingly just uh, gonna get cucked. She's just, you know, a nice little supporting character. Cauldron, the headmaster, she seems very level headed. She understands that, like, Will is not weak. There's many potential, and they need to, like, procure. Enough Magia vendors for the fated day. It's as if Doomsday is coming. The end of all times is coming. And the whole point of this is to curate as many Magia vendors to fight against them. I don't know what that's all about, but it's looking like a huge, you know, endgame plot there. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.